If you have any books laying around you need to watch today because we are going to help you get organized to do that. We've brought in Vicki Norris of Restoring Order. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we at this morning? We are at the home of Terry and Lynn Lorio in West Lynn. And what we are doing is creating a library for the family. So it's a whole house transformation. Now let's take a look at a before picture here because this was just not a one room transformation but a many room transformation. That's right. So and we're this is just one of them. The library here. And before in the library there was books coming in from all directions. And they were landing on the sofa and on the floor and on any available surface and there was too much going on in this room it was tight it was cluttered we had to get a lot of books out and a lot of furniture out well, let's take a look at it now because it is absolutely gorgeous you've done so much to this room you've taken away things added things and all the books there's not a single one laying around what was the first steps for this well you know the first thing is we had to get some of the furniture out because it was so crowded mm. but after that, we decided what the theme of this room would be was learning. And so all books related to learning live in here now. And before, it was just kind of all the books that were coming in the door would get put here. And so what we've done is we've categorized. So we've got everything from history to uh, military. Uh, here we've got kind of the right brain section. So mm -hmm. we've got poetry and drama, Shakespeare, music. Here's a little horn like to indicate touches, that. Yeah. And we've got our art section here. So we've got some paint brushes. So and when you walk in, you know what section you're going to. Exactly. Exactly. It's easy to and now, then, there was a clock somewhere, and I'm trying to find the and wall. So, well, over here, we had to add a bookshelf because we wanted to give them room for growth. That's really important to maintenance, is making sure you allow a little bit of room for growth for all those new books. All right, well, this is just the first room. We're going to take you to two others. Our next stop is the rec room. Ready That's to right. head there? Let's I take am. a look. Before in the rec room, there was just a big blank wall, Kara. There really wasn't a lot going on in this room. And the kids were sometimes using this room, sometimes not. So I suggested that we take this wall that had nothing going on and we put in a bookshelf. And we actually used this space to put down books that would be of interest to the boys. And you did a great job. Now I want to know, where did all these books come from? Where did they have them before? All over the house. Terry had some in her office. There were some in the library. Remember I said it was really Just clogged everywhere. in the library. So we really wanted to de determine what the theme was for this room. So since this is the rec room, this is an entertainment theme. So over here we've got everything from sports and games and hobbies to travel. And then down here we've got fiction A through Z. Now can I talk to Terry and see what she thinks about this? Is it just a whole new transformation for your house? Oh, it is. We've, we've pulled books out of everywhere. But the biggest thing that we were trying to do was to put the books where the family is mm -hmm. because we had them in all the back corners of the house and the kids weren't connected with the books at all. So bringing them over here worked. You say the goal was accomplished? Yeah. Good. Well, let's see whether or not, Grant, I know this was probably a hard job for you, huh? Did it take a lot of time? Yeah, it did. <laughs> and having all these books here, you must be a big reader, right? Uh, I, well, I haven't really read a book since like third grade. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Never mind. Well, with that, let's go, I guess, to the person who does read all the yeah, books. Yeah, we better house, go to right? the office and see how this benefited Lynn. Yeah, let's go to the office. <laughs> you know, Kara, the process in the office was the same as throughout the entire home. And this, this library project really did span every room of the home because books landed everywhere. And so we had to get books out of Terry's office. We had to get them out of the bridge. We had to get them out of every room. And we had to get them off the shelves. And that was hard, you know, taking all those books down, getting them into boxes, labeling the boxes. And oftentimes we would have many boxes with the same label because we had a large category. But that's what's really needed to create lasting changes. You have to engage in a discovery process and figure out what you've got by each category. And so we decided that in Lynn's office, the theme would be medical. So here we are in his office and... It looks great. Oh, thank He's you. I am so job. excited, mainly because now he can access things. And that oh. was a real priority for him. I can't believe 4,000 books. Now, is it all done? Are you all done with this? Well, a couple things I want to say. First of all, he's had these bookshelves for five years and he's never had them organized. So I'm thrilled about that. So we're real close to being finished. But this final touch I want to put on here for them, I want to put some card holders here so they can actually affix them and get rid of these nice yeah, little post-it notes. That will look really nice. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk to actually the reader in the family because we learned one person here has not read since he was, what, in third grade? But I found out who does because he's been sitting here reading all morning long. Good morning, Lynn. How are you? How do you like this? It's a fantastic. I've been looking for this book for 10 years. <laughs> Perfect. Well, well, was this really hard for you to do? Did you ever think it would happen? Uh, I wasn't sure we were going to make it. But uh, with perseverance and some good guidance, here we are. I you, can find all my books. Do you feel relieved? Is it, you know? Yes, I'm quite relieved. 
Good, good. Well, it looks great. And if you ever need any organizing tips, you have to call Vicky because she has a solution for every room in the house. So be sure to you know contact you. What's your contact information? 503-625-5774 is our number at Restoring Order, or people can link through to our website through the K2 website. All right, K2.com. Thanks, Vicki.